everyone, my name is Jackie and welcome to my channel, Books, Board Games, and Ball Gowns. Today I am here with a Fairy Loot unboxing. The theme for this month's Fairy Loot is Villainous, which I'm really excited about. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing box. I believe the book that is in it is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. So without further ado, let's get started. Also this box is really heavy. <laughs> Alright. So of course we have our spoiler card with the amazing artwork by Tara TJ, and of course everything on the back that is in the box, and we're just going to set that right here until I inevitably need to look at it. <gasps> I'm really happy right now. So the first item that I see is a candle by Mirakai Candles, and it's Maleficent. She is one of my favorite Disney villains. And I am so happy. The scent is Jade Orchid and Lotus Blossom. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh yeah, that smells amazing. And there's glitter. I'm so happy right now. Oh, I love this. Next. Okay, got all the crinkle. Oh. Something almost got caught in the crinkles. Okay. There is, oh, there's a mirror. Everyone has darkness inside them, however hidden. And that is from The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Okay, this was designed by Little Inkling Designs. Excellent. Next, looks like there's a pin here. <laughs> okay, there's a Death Eater enamel pin and it's honestly the cutest thing. Oh my goodness. And it's by House Store, and I'm guessing this is Fairy Loot exclusive. It's got the little Fairy Loot symbol on it. It's so cute. There's glitter on it. Next up, oh, it's a coaster. And it says, every fairy tale needs a good old-fashioned villain. A Moriarty quote. That's awesome. This is gorgeous. Really good quality, too. Who designed you? EVCO. Yeah, of course. That's awesome. I love it. I wonder if this design is going to be available in her um, Society 6 shop because this is a really awesome design and I would honestly love to have it on like a pillow. Next up we have, oh looks like some postcards. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm really excited about this. These are either postcards or well, they're the size of postcards, but I think they're just double-sided art cards for The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. Oh, these are gorgeous. Next, we have a print that looks like this is also by EVCO. It says, if I cannot move heaven, I will raise hell. And it's from the Aeneid by Virgil. Yep, it is by EVCO. What I didn't know about this quote is that Sebastian Morgenstern from Cassandra Clare's Mor The Mortal Instruments also says it. Next. Okay, so this is like a little art print uh, promotional item for Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor. It's a Daughter of Smoke and Bone novella. Yeah, I still need to actually read that series, but Night of Cake and Puppets is actually already out. It was released on October 5th, and that's really cool. It said, life doesn't need magic to be magical, but a little bit sure doesn't hurt. Okay, next. <laughs> so excited about this it is a language of thorns which they had said was going to be included in this month's box I'm so excited this is gorgeous and I believe the cover in it is fairy loot exclusive oh it's so pretty this makes me so happy this book is beautiful and I can't wait to read all these oh this is really cool so inside above each of the stories it tells you where that story came from. 
For instance, the stories of the Two Colored Fox, The Witch of Duva, and Little Knife are Ravkin. I'm so excited about this. I actually just finished my reread of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, so I, I'm dying for more Grishaverse, especially since we have so long to wait until Nikolai's stories come out, which thank you, Lee Mardugo. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. But oh, this is so beautiful. I'm so excited. In the back. Love speaks in flowers. Truth requires thorns. I'm so happy right now. And I am super excited for Christy over at Paradise Lost in Books to open this box and see this book because she is finally reading the Grisha Trilogy, thank goodness, which I think is actually now called the Shadow and Bone Trilogy. Uh, I think they changed the name just because there are so many books now that are Grisha centric. So I'm so excited for her to finish that trilogy and then read the Six of Crows trilogy and read this. It's going to be amazing. And <sighs> yes, it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. But this is beautiful. This is, for being such a thin book, it's actually really heavy. And then last but definitely not least, we have our book of the month. Oh, don't drop, don't drop things. So first we of course have our monthly bookmark that matches the spoiler card. And our book of the month is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. This cover is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, taking a look at our synopsis. And I apologize now if I pronounce any of the characters' names wrong. 18-year-old Ji Fang is beautiful. The stars say she is destined for greatness, that she is meant to be Empress of Feng Lu, but only if she embraces the darkness within her. Growing up as a peasant in a forgotten village on the edge of the map, Zhifeng longs to fulfill the destiny promised to her by her cruel aunt, the witch Guma, who has read the cards and seen glimmers of Zhifeng's majestic future. But is the price of the throne too high? Because in order to achieve greatness, she must spurn the young man who loves her and exploit the callous magic that runs through her veins, sorcery fueled by eating the hearts of the recently killed. For the god who has sent her on this journey will not be satisfied until his power is absolute. Set in an East Asian-inspired fantasy world, filled with both breathtaking pain and beauty, Julie C. Dow's reimagining of the evil queen legend from Snow White possesses all the hallmarks of masterful fantasy. Dazzling magic, heartbreaking romance, and a world that hangs in the balance. Fans of The Wrath and the Dawn, Stealing Snow, and Red Queen will devour this stunning debut. I am excited about this. This sounds awesome. And let's see what the cover looks like without it. Oh, that's beautiful. That is really, truly beautiful. I love it when the bare spine of a book is just as beautiful as the cover, because this really is. Also, I appreciate this, that it says book one, because so often you get a series and you're like, I don't know which book is book one. And you have to look it up and it takes time, or is this one? It's just book one, right there. It's awesome. Thank you. And the book, of course, comes with the signed book plate and the letter from the author, which says, Dearest Fairy Loot readers, my dream of getting published has finally come true and I am honored to have you all be a part of it. Forest of a Thousand Lanterns brings together everything that I love. Fairy tales, powerful female characters, and folklore and mythology in a lush, East Asian inspired setting. It asks a question that has lingered in my mind for years. Is our destiny already chosen for us or can we decide for ourselves? I'm inclined to think that we have a say in making our dreams come true because it certainly happened for me. So I hope Ji Feng will bewitch you and beckon you in to gaze upon her magic mirror of a story. I hope you'll see something mystical and splendid there and be inspired to seize your destiny, whatever it may be. When you hold my book, lovely readers, you hold a piece of my heart. Just don't eat it. With all my love and gratitude, Julie C. Dow. I like that. You hold a piece of my heart, but just don't eat it. And of course, every month we each get our, our very own reading buddy. My reading buddy number is hashtag fairyloot123007. So if you're my reading buddy, come say hi. I will be honest, I have never actually found my reading buddy. So, and I've been a subscriber since May. So I, I know you gotta be out there somewhere. So please come say hi if you see this. And of course we have this month's fairy scoop. 
which includes an interview with the author, which is awesome, recommendations on what to read ne next if you enjoyed this. And then we have our reveal for next month's theme, which is Ladies That Slay, which I think is actually sold out already. Actually, yes, it is. It sold out in just a matter of hours, which is insane. Next month's box sounds absolutely amazing, and well, okay, all of their boxes sound amazing, and they all have been amazing, but this one, the book, it is going to have an exclusive cover, which is amazing, and it will also include, are you ready for this, an advanced reader copy of a high fantasy book that isn't going to be published until May 2018. What? Oh my goodness. I just, I, I, I can't, I can't even. And as a little surprise, each box is going to contain a book sleeve to keep the, your book safe in. And that design is going to be exclusive too. Once again, this was an amazing box by Fairy Lude. I've never been disappointed in a box by them. Even items that pertain to, you know, fandoms that I'm not a part of. Like, last month there were items for the Mortal Instruments, and I haven't read those books, but the items were still amazing, and they're still items that I will use, which I find so cool. And I just, I've loved being a Fairy Loot subscriber, and I hope to remain a subscriber for a very long time, because their subscription boxes are just phenomenal and top-notch, and I just, it's amazing. I love it. As for a favorite item, it's gotta be Language of Thorns. I, the Maleficent Candle is a close second, but I have been waiting to read The Language of Thorns, and that cover is gorgeous, and I'm just, I'm so excited. I think that about wraps it up. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch, and I appreciate all of you so much. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye!